Are you the unwitting victim of these money traps that rob your wealth, causing you to remain stuck in the rat race in the middle class? Failing to avoid these traps is detrimental to your financial health and can keep you dependent on a paycheck. Many people function on autopilot, unaware of these simple actions that are preventing them from creating the wealth they want. It can seem that there's just never enough extra money, no matter how much you earn, to spend in a meaningful way, like investing for retirement or making purchases that are deemed important. Avoiding these middle-class money traps, especially number one, will help you break out of the rat race so you can financially support the lifestyle you desire. Number 10. Not knowing what you're invested in Learning the basics of investing is quite possibly the best thing you can do to ensure you have a comfortable retirement, because the majority of your assets over time will be the result of interest from your investments. The only way to ensure you're making the best investment selections for your unique scenario is to understand what you're investing in and the pros and disadvantages of different possibilities. Listening to friends and relatives who aren't financially solid or blindly following the advice of a financial professional is a risk you're taking with your future. Consider two scenarios in which you invest $10,000 and continue to invest $500 every month for the next 30 years. The whole sum with a 7% yearly return would be $682,000. The entire sum would be little more than $1,260,000 with a 10% yearly return. That's a difference of $578,000, which might be what you're missing out on if you're putting your money in the incorrect investments. Number 9. Actively Trading Trying to outperform the market by purchasing speculative investments and buying and selling amid market fluctuations is a poor approach. It is conceivable for experienced individuals like as Warren Buffett and hedge fund manager Peter Lynch to outperform the market on a continuous basis. But with investing fees, taxes, and emotions all acting against you, this is incredibly tough. If you can only equal the S&P 500's average yearly return of 10%, you'll be performing better than most investors. Timing the market by selling at the top and purchasing at the bottom is appealing, but it is also more difficult than it appears. When individuals try to accomplish this, they get focused on short-term fluctuations rather than long-term goals, which is what they should be doing. Number 8. Not Tax Planning Focusing on your biggest expenditures, such as transportation and housing, is one of the greatest ways to maximize your money, but taxes are typically your biggest expense of all. As a result, it makes sense to pay attention to what the wealthy do in order to maximize your tax status and avoid paying more than required. There are several ways to lawfully lower the amount of tax you pay, including retirement accounts such as IRAs, 401ks, and Roth IRAs. Tax advantages exist for real estate investments as well. Mortgage, interest, insurance, and charges reduce your taxable income, and the property can be further depreciated, lowering your tax obligation. How you make money is also an important factor. Employees have fewer alternatives to lower their taxable income through costs and write-offs than business owners. Working with a CPA to learn how to maximize your tax position will allow you to keep substantially more of your money, often as much as 20%, 30% or more. Number 7. Being unwilling to make changes If you're unwilling to make little changes to enhance your circumstances, you may be losing out on significant progress. People dread change because they want to be comfortable. They don't want to be in an unknown scenario, although it's sometimes important for growth. Moving to a less desired area because it will free up enough of your money to enable you to achieve the next phase, or taking in a roommate so you can finally begin to aggressively pay off debt, begin investing, or start a company are two examples of change. Perhaps a new job opportunity presents itself, in which you might be paid 20% more than you are now, but it would entail a new supervisor and a new set of co-workers in a foreign place. Number 6. Not buying a house Purchasing a house might be one of the finest purchases you ever make, but you must go with caution. This might be a terrific approach to enhance your finances for people who meet the criteria for homeownership. According to the most current Federal Reserve data, the average net worth of a homeowner is $255,000, compared to little over $6,000 for renters. One key reason for this is that most homeowners accumulate equity in several ways. Their mortgage is paid down each month until they own it outright, and the home's value is expected to grow. 
This asset might open up new opportunities in the future by being rented out, sold, and the proceeds utilized for something else. Or the home's equity could be accessed through finance. Furthermore, when you own a property, your housing expenditures stay rather stable. Utilities, taxes, and maintenance costs climb marginally year after year, but they mostly stay the same because the house's price never changes. Number 5. Not taking risks Risk is a vital component to progress. Without it, you'll be trapped in the same spot indefinitely. How can you expect to advance in life if you don't take any risks? To make a good decision, you must estimate the level of risk and reward whenever you wish to move forward. This might be in relation to finding a new work, changing occupations, or launching a business that is unlikely to succeed. But if it succeeds, the benefits might be life-changing. Making such a significant change is undoubtedly dangerous. What happens if you don't like it? What if the money isn't exactly what you expected? Risk exists wherever you invest your money, whether it's in a property or cash with the possibility of inflation. When accepting these risks, you may lessen the possible negatives by being prepared in case things don't work out, such as having enough funds or a plan B. Number 4. Spending money before you deserve to People frequently make the mistake of purchasing stuff or spending money on experiences because they believe they deserve it. They work hard, therefore they ought to be rewarded, right? There is some truth to this. Is it truly a prize if it sets you back to a place where you're financially uncomfortable? When you start earning a decent wage, you might be tempted to buy a brand new automobile. It's not a huge problem because you can finance it. You may believe you deserve that flashy new automobile, but consider how much it will actually cost you. Is it truly a reward for your work if you're anxious about making payments and it's seriously limiting your capacity to accumulate wealth? Your future self is unlikely to agree. Number 3. Claiming you don't care about money I don't care about money, a poor individual could reply, stating they're okay being broke and mistreated by an employer. How can this be true when these same folks work 40 hours or more per week, 50 weeks per year, and bring home less than ideal pay? Money now influences practically every aspect of their lives. They live in a house they can afford, not one they would select if money were not an issue. What do they do most of the time? Of course, I'm working. When someone says they don't care about money, they imply they don't care about having a lot of money from materialistic things. It's okay if you don't care about being wealthy, but being concerned about money isn't always a negative thing. After all, money has an impact on every aspect of our life. Number 3. Keeping the wrong career Students in high school are urged to pick a vocation that will keep them happily employed until retirement. As you can expect, this frequently leads to young individuals going into debt for a degree only to discover that their profession was not what they had hoped for. Either the pay isn't what they were expecting, or the work itself isn't something they like. Many young individuals, on the other hand, escape the great pressure of choosing on a better job path. They may become trapped in a low-paying employment that will not help them achieve their ambitions, while making the best decision before deciding on a course of action is desirable. It seldom happens. That does not exclude you from adapting. What if you could change careers and make double, treble, or even four times your present salary? Whether you want to start your own business or just change employment, you may accomplish it by developing an action plan with clearly defined goals and milestones. Number 1. Thinking none of these will work for you Believing that none of these concepts will work for you is a mindset that will never enable you to advance. They may work for others, but they will not work for me since... It may appear that you can't get out of a hole, but there are virtually always solutions based on your present situation. This may not be what you want to hear, but the reality is that many of the people who claim none of these ideas work for them are reluctant to make the required sacrifices, life adjustments, or take the necessary risks to better their condition. It may need discomfort or difficulty. Building money is probably simpler for some than for others, but following these tips might lead to a better living. Which of these money traps do you fall into, and which are you willing to avoid, to keep you entrenched in the middle class? It is vital to detect these habits in order to make the necessary corrections. It does not need a huge paradigm shift in your life to produce your future prosperity. Start avoiding these harmful traps right now, 
You'll be glad you did.